Second point is really around model risk management. And model risk management, we won't get into the details now, we assume there's some basic understanding. Companies are um, paying more organized attention to all of the models that they have and use to run their business. Um, and as uh, companies have built their model risk management programs, uh, they have tended to emphasize the models that were important in a traditional business environment. So a lot of emphasis on some of the big reserving models, a lot of emphasis on the economic capital model in that calculation. And that emphasis is good, but to some extent, uh, as the business models change, as these get disrupted, especially through advanced analytics approaches, different ways of underwriting, different ways of pricing the risk, these new models, these um, artificial intelligence, uh, advanced analytic type models will play a much more significant role in the company's profitability. And it's, it's perhaps a little easy to not see them as important because um, you know, the numbers that they produce are on their own, each a little uh, relatively small. Uh, it's a few cents here, a few cents there in terms of potential mispricing. But recognizing that a lot of these models get applied um, in, in a rote, almost mechanical way uh, without the same type of human intervention as existed for the other, other models. And that a lot of the errors in these models are not recoverable. If, if a product is mispriced, um, the companies don't have a chance to go back and say, well, you know, we'd like to collect more premium because our model was wrong. Compare that, for example, to a model that produces uh, actual reserves uh, that are uh, included in the quarterly uh, balance sheet and income statement to the extent that that needs to be um, um, improved, I guess, as each quarter goes on, it's almost a normal assumption that um, improvements will happen in, in its relatively benign impact on the value of the company. That's very different from a pricing model or an underwriting model where that impact is, is really not recoverable. So we think a shift uh, in this new uh, ERM environment uh, in the model risk management uh, activities to these types of models and emphasizing them more than has been the case in the past is something we'll see.